It's a mystery that has perplexed science's greatest minds, including Charles Darwin, Galileo, and Plato. It's not because we find it funny, that's for sure, so why does it make us laugh? There are two kinds of tickling. Gargalesis, the heavy tickling that produces laughter by targeting sensitive areas like the armpits and stomach, this is the type of tickling we love to give and get. And nismesis, which tends to elicit an itching sensation rather than laughter. It is caused by very light touch or movement, the very same feeling you get when an insect starts crawling on your skin. A quick fact, you can tickle yourself, because your brain knows it's coming. When the nerve endings in your epidermis, the surface of the skin, are stimulated by a light touch, they send a signal through the nervous system to your brain. Using functional magnetic resonance imaging machines, researchers have determined that two areas of the brain create that tickle sensation. The somatosensory cortex, the area responsible for analyzing touch, and the anterior cingulated cortex, which is involved in creating pleasurable feelings. But why do we feel ticklish? There are three different hypotheses to this. The first hypothesis says that tickling helps in making the bond between a child and its parent even stronger. It is however unclear why some children or even adults find it so annoying. Robert Provine, a neuroscientist, says that you have the mother and baby engaged in this kind of primal, neurologically programmed interaction. The second hypothesis is that tickling was a prenatal response. It apparently helped us relax better in positions favorable while still in the womb. The third hypothesis, however, states that tickling was evolved to develop our combat skills. It teaches us defensive moves, making us more agile. Another fMRI study revealed that both laughing at a joke and laughing while being tickled activate an area of the brain which controls facial movements and vocal and emotional reactions. But tickling laughter also activates the hypothalamus, the area of the brain that regulates the fight or flight response, and fires when you're anticipating pain. This has led some scientists to believe that laughing when you're tickled could be a natural signal of submission to an aggressor, which would reduce the duration of any attack. It also explains why we may laugh at just the threat of being tickled. Another interesting thing about tickling is how it is nearly impossible to tickle ourselves. The only way we can possibly tickle ourselves is by tickling the roof of our mouth with our tongue. Even that is quite annoying. I bet you're trying it right now. Do you have a smile in your face? Are you giggling? Evolutionary biologists and neuroscientists have backed up the third theory with some credible evidence. The areas of the human body that are typically the most ticklish are the same ones that are the most vulnerable to injury. Your underarm contains the axillary vein and artery and it also allows unimpeded access to your heart, since the ribcage no longer provides protection to the chest cavity at the underarm. The same goes for another ticklish spot, the neck, without protective bones in either place. Humans have evolved to live in social groups and one function of these groups is to pass on knowledge from one generation to another. Through tickling, one person is teaching another to defend himself from attack. When tickled, a person will also try to fend off the tickler and squirm to escape by making an involuntary laughter response. The tickle attack remains harmless, with neither side taking the conflict too seriously. But why are some people not ticklish? Well, they may don't get a pleasant feeling lower sensitivity to touching, they were not conditioned to tickling in the first place, you are not touching the right areas, less sensitive nervous system, they aged fast, they formed a different bonding instinct, or possibly they have a lower anxiety response. Thank you for watching this video on our Key Science channel. If you have any question, please leave it out in the comments below. And make sure to watch more of our interesting videos covering a wide range of interesting topics. And subscribe! for more key science videos.